Hey y'all, it's Garrett with The Tuning School, and in this Tech Tuesday, let's take a look at this Dodge vehicle and some electronic throttle controls. If you've ever driven one of these before, you know that the throttle can be laggy. So let's take a look at the tune and see what we can do to help that out. All right, so we're in our Dodge vehicle here. We've read the computer out of this, and we're gonna start to make some adjustments on the throttle feel here. And you definitely know that any of these electronic throttle-based vehicles do have a laggy throttle to them. So like that transient kind of leading into it, whether we're driving it down the road or even here in the parking lot, we can definitely find out that that throttle is ever so laggy. So as I jump in and I test this right now, I can tell that it's definitely laggy. So when I go ahead and I just rev on this, it's just, it's got a one second pause is almost what it feels like. So we're gonna try to tighten some of that up. So taking a look at the tune file itself, we need to make a couple adjustments on not only the electronic throttle side of it, but also on some spark side of this too, and a little bit of the torque management part of this. So let's dive right into this right here. If we go into our airflow tab here, and we take a look in the electronic throttle side of this, what we have is a maximum demanded throttle. And what that's gonna be is a throttle table that is the maximum amount of voltage the throttle motor can go, depending on what the RPM or situation of the vehicle is. As you guys can notice here, it's pretty small. So we're saying at a lower RPM, or what we would see is kind of just a roll out or transient throttle, it's not being able to give us all of that throttle voltage to this. So what I like to do is go ahead and simply max that out. So we're gonna put the number 3.8 in there. And that's gonna say that, hey, me as a driver, I can now add as much throttle to this as I want. Now, there's gonna be multiple different ways we could get to this. This is just a, a mild way to be able to do this right here. So we simply pop that into here and now we move on over to our spark side of this. And what we're taking a look at now is our transient tip-in throttle spark. Now the transient tip-in throttle spark to this is going to be able to remove spark from me when I go ahead and smash that throttle. Now that is gonna be able to create even more of a lag even than the electronic throttle in some scenarios. Even if it was a drive-by cable-based vehicle, we could adjust some things like this. So what I like to do is start with removing about half of that from the timing. So I put the number 0.5 and I multiply that out to that. Now, we can go a little bit further from that. If you were to upload this tune in and you decided that, hey, that's just not enough, you can go ahead and zero that out. Keep in mind that you need to watch for the burst knock or some of the spark knock during those transient throttle situations to make sure that it's not having any knock or detonation issues with that. Uh, this, is, this is a good start to get you guys sent in the right direction right here on this. Now, if I wanted to go just a little further with this, we could jump into our torque management side of this. Now, on the torque management side of this here, what we have is our pedal characteristics. Anytime the voltage is above, in this case, 2.75 volts, it's considered to be wide open throttle. So we're trying to essentially get that voltage to be a little bit lower to go into a wide open throttle uh, state a little bit faster. So we already have it set a little lower on this vehicle as a supercharged vehicle, but we can even go down just a little further than that. What I recommend is to never necessarily go below 2.25. It gets a little erratic when you, the lower you go with this, but feel free to play with it on your vehicle. Now in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and drop it down just a little bit to about 2.5. That's gonna help me get to a wide open throttle stance that much quicker as I jab that throttle down to this. Therefore creating that transient boom, I have wide open throttle and I can get that throttle feel back out of this vehicle. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and save this new tune file and then we can go ahead and flash it into the vehicle and retest this once again. All right, and so now that we've flashed the tune inside of this, we can go ahead, fire this up and, and test this. So let's take a look here. It's certainly already better. So why don't you say we take it for a drive and see how it reacts on the road? All right, so now we've loaded this tune in and we drove it before and it seemed a little bit laggy on that throttle. Let's see what happens now that we're actually about to go drive it around. Now we revved it up a little bit in the shop before and it seems pretty uh, pretty good, but what happens here if we just go ahead and lean into it now? 
I would definitely say that helped us out quite a bit. So uh, of course we'll keep driving around and see what happens the rest of the time. All right, I definitely felt like that helped our throttle control on this. I hope you learned a lot, of, a lot out of this video. For more high performance tuning knowledge, make sure you follow us on social media and as always, stay tuned. Make sure that you follow us on social media and I screwed it up again.